Look at these eggs. The Corydoras are spawning. Um, I did discover that I lost my male and I had three females that were in here laying eggs. Um, so I netted a young juvenile male that was starting to spawn in my main tank and I put him in here so I'm going to have to uh, watch him so that the females don't overuse him because the breeding trio for Corydoras is a reverse trio. It's two males to one female. So As you can see there, they're beginning to spawn again. And the java moss that died back, that the snails have eaten a lot of the um, brown moss is starting to grow back. So that means nitrates and um, the cycle is beginning to catch up. Lord, there's more eggs over there, but that they look um, fertile. These don't look fertile. Some of them might be, but uh, as you can see, they're everywhere. Hey, pretty Garami. But anyway, yes, if you ever wondered if you had all females, but you never saw any babies, but you saw white eggs everywhere, it's probably due to having females, but no males. So there's the little guy. And as you can see, she's getting ready. She's waiting on him to rest. So I hope I don't kill him. <laughs> So as you see, this is for Yolanda as well, PEMG Hustle Woman Aquatics. Um, I've got several females now for her to spawn with the, uh, the two males that she has. She lost the female. The females have to get used to a male being present because they're just laying eggs without spawning. Now he's wanting to spawn with her. But they'll get the hang of things. Susan for SLC Aquatics. Spawning Peppered Corydoras. Doris.